Hi there, I'm Claire from EnglishAtHome.com. Most people hate making phone calls in another language. It's kind of scary. You can't see the other person. Suppose you don't understand them. Suppose they don't understand you. So today I'm going to look at four common problems when you make a phone call and how you can fix them. I want you to be more confident when you make phone calls. But before we start, if you're new to my videos, please subscribe to my channel because then you get a notification when I post a new video. So for more free English, you can subscribe by clicking the button there. Okay, so these problems and how to fix them. This is problem number one, a bad line or signal quality. So maybe you can't hear the person very well because the signal is bad or there's a disturbance on the line. And obviously that means you might miss important information. So there are a couple of things that you can say and do. So you could say, I'm sorry, this line's bad. Can you say that again? Or you could say, you're fading in and out. Could you say that again, please? Or you could even say, if you keep having problems hearing the other person, this line's really bad. Do you mind if I call you back? And then you can hope for a better connection. The second problem, you don't understand. So what do you say if you don't understand? These phrases are really good phrases to use because they can also mean that you haven't heard the other person rather than you don't understand them. So say something like, sorry, what did you say? Or sorry, what was that? Or sorry, say that again? And then the other person will repeat for you. A really useful tip is to tell the other person you want to write down the information and that way they really have to slow down for you. So say something like, let me just write that down. And then say, sorry, what was that name again? Or what was that phone number? Three, the other person doesn't understand. This could be for lots of reasons. Maybe the signal is bad, or maybe you are speaking too fast, or you're using complicated sentences. So if the other person doesn't understand you, you can say something like, sorry, because that's polite, and then say, shall I say that again? Or do you want me to clarify that? Or shall I go over the main details for you? Or even say, okay, let me say that again, and then say it again in a more simple way. And finally, the other person doesn't want to talk. Okay, this happens. Sometimes when you're on a phone call with another person, you can hear that they're really busy. Maybe they're talking to someone else or they have to answer another phone call. And sometimes you can hear in their voice if they're really stressed. So you could say something like, sorry, is this a bad time to call? Or sorry, is this an inconvenient time to call? And then if the person says yes, then you can suggest another time to call them. By the way, if you'd like some more telephone tips, be sure to check out the link. So two final tips for you. The first one is to plan in advance what you want to say. So you don't have to write down every single word of your conversation, but at least make a couple of notes so that you know that you can cover what you want to talk about in the phone call. And the second thing is to know how you will finish the phone call. So have some phrases ready. Example, if you have asked for information, your final phrase can be something like, okay, thanks for the information. Or if you're referring to a future event, you can say something like, okay, so we'll speak tomorrow. Then wait for the other person to say yes. Then you can say, thanks, bye wait for the other person to say bye, and then you finish the phone call, you hang up. For more free English, you can subscribe to my channel and you can watch another video. Don't forget, you can also leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.